In life, we are on a constant pursuit for our slice of the pie. The pie comes in many forms, whether it's starting a business, higher education, pursuing a career, raising a family, and the list continues. The burdens we face during our pursuit is lessened when we are financially fit. The Breadwinners created a platform where we can discuss finances and entrepreneurship in a judgment-free space. We're striving to encourage healthy financial discussions amongst our peers to capture our slice until we no longer want to slice and rather bake our own cake. Growing up in the 90s, man, we had a pretty cool life, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, for the most part, we stayed outside. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's when you come back inside, it's a wrap. Like your mom, you're either in or you're out, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But we had um, TGI Friday. Mm -hmm. And TGI Friday had absolutely all the cool shows. Hangar mm -hmm. with Mr. Cooper. It had A Boy Meets World. It had, I don't know if Family Matters. Family Matters was a part of it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. who, was your, who was your TV dad, like, or the family you wanted to live with? Um, I guess for me, um, when you grow up a, a black male without a dad, um, you know how to say art reflects life. Yeah. So, so for me, um, it was always the TV dads, I think, were tough but fair. So I tell people all the time, I, I like to see myself as a mix of the three dads. Um, Michael Kyle. Um, from, for, uh, yeah, from wife, wife and kids. kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, Uncle Phil um, and, and Carl Winslow. Um, I, I believe all three. Um, depicted the perfect dad. Um, when you grow up without sometimes in your head, um, it's what you think it should be. Um, Uncle Phil for me was always the Lucille episode. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when Will was in trouble, he needed Uncle Phil to be himself. Yeah. And uh, Uncle Phil unleashed so many levels of who he was as a person. Um, it's when you looked at him and realized they're not just dads, they're people. Um, for Michael Kyle, it's the Michael Kyle signature moment and just how the f frenzy of raising a family, yeah. um, you have to adjust. It has to be different punishments for different peoples, different situations, how you choose to look at it and, and how you are as a person can bleed down through your kids. He was a petty dude. Uh, <laughs> you have to be petty in today's world. <laughs> uh, in, in today's society, um, like I say, for me, every moment is a teachable moment. Yeah. Every moment is a moment of reflection. It's something you can learn from it. Um, I try to teach my kids. Uh, that's why we don't have losses. Why? Because everything is, is, is a teaching moment. Mm. Everything is something you can learn from, whether you won or you lost in any situation. Um, again, it's fail often and fail forward. Yeah, that's interesting. So when, when I think about that, I mean, it shapes a lot of our life, right? Yes, sir. And it shapes absolutely it doesn't shape everything, but it gives so much influence. Yes, sir. You know, but as as we are entrepreneurs, I think one of the things we don't really pay attention to is is what we put it into our body. Uh, yes, sir. So uh, one day I was at your shop and mm -hmm. you was just like selling it, and you mm -hmm. was just not so much selling it, but you was just offering. I'm like, man, this dude's passionate about yes, being health, being healthy. Yes, and sir. When it comes to being healthy as an entrepreneur, let's start as, as an entrepreneur first. Yes, sir. Um, why should you be more healthy? Um, I, I believe as an entrepreneur, in reality, you know how they say you gave up 40 hours a week to work 80. Um, <laughs> Man, I felt that in my soul. Uh, yes, sir, because in, in reality, not only do it become a heavy workload, it becomes a lifestyle. That's why entrepreneurs have to date entrepreneurs, because in reality, mm. it's all the time work. Um, it's stressful. So again, your mental health become very important. Your physical health become important. You have to keep yourself at a certain level to be able to progress because it's all a time paper chase. Because again, your entrepreneur, what I tell people the difference between a side hustle and a business is a side hustle, you're thinking about making money for today. And the business is about thinking about it for every day, all the time, forever. And when you're not whole within self, it's hard to be progressive. Um, busy doesn't mean productive. So again, that goes with your mental health, your physical health, your spiritual health, because you have to be one to, again, attack a formidable opponent, which is the success key, the wealth gap 
and being able to create financial wellness for your entire family. That, that is so profound. And is that the mantra for Fresh Life? Uh, yes, sir. Um, fresh Life typically means being whole, mind, body, and soul. Okay. We live a fresh life. Um, again, not to concentrate on the stressors of it, but the positivity of it and who we are. Someone once asked me what fresh life meant. My immediate honest response was love. Mm. Love of oneself, love of one family, love as one as a being and as a whole. Um, I like to preach that again, we are better than who we think we are. And again, sometimes Jay-Z once said, do y'all not want more? We have to want more for each other. And again, when you're chasing a fresh life, yeah, um, you're chasing your happiness. You, you, you're chasing your financial independence. You're, you're chasing your freedom and your happiness. And in that, when you look at yourself differently, you'll look at how you feed yourself differently. Uh, again, when you eat in the live, you you eating for the energy to go do fifty jobs of one person. Yeah, it's it's tough, man. <laughs> hey, it's yes, tough. Sir. It's because yes, you you're absolutely right, man. You're trading your your forty for eighty, man. It's that eight to five to for twenty four seven. But yes, sir. It's your passion, you know, and I love yes, when passion meets purpose. So well, my grandfather said a long time ago, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. So as long as you believe in what you're doing, and again, like I tell people, especially every entrepreneur, if you're passionate about it, as long as you're making steps towards the money and the goals will come because every day you're about pushing forward to your goals, your happiness, your fresher life. That's dope. Yes, sir. I love that. Yes, sir. I love that. So let me ask you this, Mr. Mr. Terry Murphy, what is your slice of the pie? Uh, my slice of the pie is financial wealth for my entire family. What does that mean? Um, power, independence, strength. Um, for me being a person who is Indian and black, um, I feel a lot have been taken from us. Mm -hmm. And I want my people, my children, to now reap the benefits that the country benefits from, that my people have bloodshed for. So my slice of the pie is financial independent. I no longer want my people, my blood, my ancestors, to worry about credit, to worry about money. Because same thing I tell all young people, I want you to be able to chase your dreams and find a way to sell it. That's it. And in reality, I think you will be able to achieve yourself of being a happier person, uh, a, a brighter person. If you could take bills, you could take financial responsibility off the table, then you're able to serve and live in your purpose. And I want my children and my children's children to be able to walk into life. Again, it's a difference when we're raised off of survival, whether then we're able to benefit off of each other and what we have going on. In the world today, Sometimes you'll get swept up in uh, having to pay your bills, having to make money. You forget to chase what your ambitions is, to chase what your goals is. Mm -hmm. And that's where the stressors and the depression and, and, and the upsetness of life come in because so many people fail to live out their goals or their dreams simply because they don't have the avenue nor the steps or the means to get there. When all I'm saying is if you slow down, you, you chase what makes you passionate, yeah. You then can reset and, and go through and slow down and break those barriers. I'm a huge proponent on self-development and growth. Again, I teach all young kids, it's not where you start, it's where you finish. Yeah. And that's the truth. As long as you take the time to self-educate, break down barriers and go after what you want and accept a no, because you are all powerful. No one dictates your universe but yourself. That sounds like entrepreneurship in a nutshell, man. That's yeah, yes, great. Sir. So, yes, sir. So, Give us like a, a, a 50 foot high level view of what kind of experience. Well, first of all, before I even get there, how did Fresh Life get started? Um, see, Fresh Life started was um, two years ago, I was 485 pounds. Mm. I had a heart attack at 32, which forces you into a lifestyle change. It, it forces you to look at it different, especially being that young. Um, while going through my transition, um, one day I woke up, um, I threw up. I said it was enough, I went to the doctor. Um, I sat down, I talked to the doc, I looked him directly in the face, I said, doc, every morning I throw up, I feel sick all day long, I'm a chef, I didn't gotta go work for 14 hours on my feet. I feel terrible. Me knowing that doctor took an oath, I specifically used the words, this can't be a way to live. There's no way you sat there and you decided, hey, I want my patient to be in this amount of pain all day. This is how I'm going to cure him. Yeah. He then looked me directly in the face and he said, keep taking it. Keep taking what? 
the medicines he had me on. At the time, I was on 11 medications. Okay. Um, and, and he told me to keep taking it. I looked at him crazy, and, and I said, but my body's rejecting me. I could feel it. At that moment, it was a, there has to be another way. I can't simply just leave it in another man's hands. Hence why it brings back to my belief in self-development and growth. Sometimes we hit these walls that forces us to change, to grow, to elevate. It was then when I decided to find Dr. Sebi, when I decided to educate myself on, on, on nutrition, um, vitamins, foods, and what they did for our bodies, that I then start to take the necessary steps. So me, I moved to taking these sea moss smoothies. And at the time, a dietitian told me I needed 11 small meals that because I was going to work all day and waiting till I got home to eat, yeah. that my body was in store fat mode. Because again, essentially we're animals. That's how we survive famine. That's how we just survive the winters. Our bodies will store the fat. Yeah, right, right, so right. So what he suggested was 11 small meals a day. By 11 small meals, what he meant was an apple, a grape, an orange, a banana, to constantly put vitamins into my body so then my body would start burning the fat instead of storing it because it knew it would get, get ample vitamins and nutrients. So for me, again, as a chef around all day, I don't have the time to constantly be eating. So boom, the smoothies. So I started to take these sea moss smoothies for breakfast and for lunch. Um, again, only in Western society do we call breakfast breakfast where we're eating bacon and eggs and cheese. Um, over there, again, as Dr. Sebi said, you know, it was meant to break a fast. Yeah. Because over the night process, your body should be having in fasting mode, which again, which makes why breakfast is the most essential meal of the day, because you are breaking your fast. If you break your fast with waters, nutrients, vitamins, it puts your body and your mental state. It gives you more energy because it sets the tone for you and your body for the rest of the day. So let me, let me ask you this. What kind of impact uh, does or did Dr. Sebi have on Fresh Life? Um, everything. Um, really? For, yes, sir. Um, again, for me, um, Dr. Sebi died for us the same way Michael Max did, the same way Martin Luther King did, the same way Fred Hampton did. Mm -hmm. No, brother stood out there in front of the world and told us, hey, y'all, this is what helps us. This is what heals us. As he told us, hey, my mama said they're going to kill me, y'all. He still stood out there and he stood in his belief in what he thought was better for us as a people. And for that, for me, that was a powerful movement. Several deaths within my lifetime hit me. And I, I remember feeling it as powerful in my soul as if I knew them. Um, one was Sandra Bland, one was Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. Um, the, the thing with me and Nipsey Hussle was, no, he was a regular guy. He had his flaws and all, but he believed and wanted for better. He achieved that better. It's like I tell people, don't just look at what a person said, look for what they stood for. No, that was a young brother that came from a lost society that wanted more and, and achieved being a king by loving himself and his queen and his people. And from that is where he benefited. That's how he built his legend. That's what he is standing there and standing on to this day. When I say it's different to love yourself and your family, it's kingly to love the world and your people. And right, sometimes right, right, we right. have to love each other enough to respect the king and each other. And again, watching someone sacrifice everything they worked for to be able to tell us, hey, y'all, if we put better nutrients in our vitamins, we don't need the doctors anymore. We don't need the medical system anymore. Well, was a powerful, impactful thing for me. And again, like I say, that's where it became, it's a must have. It has to be a fresh life because we as a people have to decide we want better. Man, that's crazy. It, it, isn't it amazing how, you know, our, what, how we go about our life and what impacts us? Yes, sir. You know, shapes our future and it's kind of like, it's like this divine thing where it's like, I didn't realize that that situation mm -hmm. is going to catapult me into where I am today. Yeah. It's, it's beyond crazy. So let, let's, let's lock in on, on Fresh Life, the restaurants in Maple Heights. Uh, yes, sir. And 1703 Broadway Avenue. Yes. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what kind of, ex before we even talk about the experience, the makeup of the team, who's all on the team? Um, the team consists of us and family. Um, you know, they say um, everybody can't go to the top. I had to leave some people. What you will experience in Fresh Life is family and love. Um, as I tell people all the time, you, what you will see at Fresh Life is my tribe. What I tell people all the time is concentrate in finding your people, your tribe, the people that want the best for you. Um, the reason when you come into Fresh Life, it's gonna always be a love is because I'm giving a part of myself. Right. Um, I'm, 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 I tell my mother all the time, I'm a man that wears his heart on his sleeve. Um, even then, I'm a proponent of everybody putting down the masks and being exactly who they are. 
So when you walk in the fresh life, you're going to watch a team of my mother, my son, my sisters, my wife, my kids, my loved ones, my people, part of my tribe. And for all of them to push a message um, of love coming in. Because, again, with us, especially as black people, we learn to greet each other with aggression and disbelief. And in reality, like I say, the only way you can greet hatred is with love. And again, I believe it knocks down the barrier of, of, of trust and of the pureness of wanting what's best for each other. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. It. So your team, it's, of course, it's you and it's, the missus at it's the head. It's me and my wife, yes, ma'am. She, she, she's the boss of it all. <laughs> again, part of fresh life, part of fresh life is being a good husband. It's being a good man. Yeah. It's being a good, because again, like I say, it sets the example. So what, what, kind, of, what kind of products are, are we looking at Fresh Life? Let's, let's start with the food. Okay, um, so for Fresh Life products, um, we offer healthy eating options. Um, we believe in loving ourselves and caring about what we put in our body. So again, even down to the solids. Um, you don't catch us with a solid, you won't find any iceberg in Fresh Life. Because as we know, iceberg gives you zero nutritional value. Mm. So all our solids come with romaine, spinach, and kale. Because again, if you take the time to Google what those things do for your body, again, it's too beneficial to leave out, especially in those options. Um, we believe we also carry a pescatarian menu, which is mainly what I am. Again, we only believe in eating clean. That's a chicken, turkey, or fish. And again, mainly vegetables. As Dr. said, we believe, again, originally, what if we didn't eat meat at all? So again, um, majority of your meals should be greens, should be leafy greens foods. That's how we fill ourselves, that's how we eat. Um, we also have a vegan menu options um, for our people who, who are in between. Yeah, uh, 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 that's uh, all right. Because <laughs> uh, um, again, everybody has their personal journey. We all got our thing. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And again, but as long as we could get everybody to stay away from the beef and the pork, and the, just to venture closer to deciding to eat healthier and seeing that it's a reasonable, attainable goal. And once you can get a, along with the lifestyle of it, because like I tell people all the time, I, I never look at anything that comes from us as a diet because diets fail. What I want you to look at is, is, is it's a lifestyle and it's just something we do. So no, we fast. Yeah, we believe in juice cleanses. Yeah, we believe in only putting alkaline grain systems in our body. Yes, we believe in looking at ourselves as something that's kingly and godly. And kingly and godly people don't eat swine. No, you're, <laughs> you're right about that. So. You know, I'm 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 on Instagram a lot, and I'm I'm seeing these juice cleanses. Yes, sir. Yeah, so man, like of course I went through one. Yes, sir. And it, 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 I felt a lot, a lot better, and it yes, opened sir. my eyes to uh, to the amount of water I wasn't con I wasn't consuming. Ah, you're and then down, it's like now I started drinking my water. I, f I felt more energized. I I wasn't as bloated, and it's like it's crazy. But what's the what's the idea or concept behind your juice cleanses, and what juice cleanses do you offer? Uh, um, we offer three-day and seven-day juice classes, cleanses um, uh, as far as up to 21. Really, it's about getting as many people to go as long as you can. Um, again, in a juice cleanse, typically, it allows you to still get the vitamins and nutrients your body needs while allowing your body to go through a fasting state. Um, in that, again, it, it, it regenerates yourself all the way down to your cellular levels because, uh, again, in today's society, uh, we have the fake chicken, we have the fake lettuces, we have the fake beefs, mm. we have the, it, there are so many things that, that go through our proteins now that when our body necessarily can't digest the things we have today because a lot of those things are natural. A lot of those things are high bread foods and high bread things that typically are, that wasn't here for the natural human body. So sometimes yeah. our body don't know what to do with it and it keeps that into our system. When you go through a ju juice cleanse, it typically resets your system. So again, that's why the smallest amount of days we'll do is a three, but we like to give as many people as long as you could take because as long as you could give your system that chance to reset, um, it, it cleanses you. It cleanses your body, your mind, and your soul. Um, it's a reason why every religion has a fast. Yeah. Um, because it's the neglecting yourself or something. It, 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 it's the not necessarily giving yourself the things you might have on a daily basis that might not be good for you, that you don't necessarily know is bad for you, and it gives you a, a chance to step away from it and see it for what it is. As again, like you say, everybody that, uh, that comes off a three-day cleanse, they come out with all these new realizations. Yep. Because in reality, it's exactly how it is. Um, when, as going through my transition, which I'm still going through to this day, 
as I watched myself drop pound after pound and my body changed. I once had somebody accuse me of lying of who I was. I was like, <laughs> who, who, who would lie about being a 500 fat dude? Like, it wouldn't happen. But in reality, to me, it just showed how different I looked, how different I, my approach was, and how different I was in growth as a person. That in reality is unrecognizable. I tell people I was 500 pounds eating the, the diet my mama gave me, my grandmama gave me. No, we was having our pork chops, our mashed potatoes, our gravy. Our, but when you realize you're not necessarily getting the nutritional value you need to allow your body to work at its optimal ability. So I tell people, no, that was my body on that diet. This is me on this diet. So what, I think it's what, 8 ounces and 12 ounces, right? 12 ounces. 12 yes, ounces. Is it 12 and 16 or is it, it just 12? I think it, it's 12 and 16. Okay, so what goes into these, these juices? Um, particularly different things um, depending on the juice. Yeah, right. Um, again, so we have uh, ABC Boost that comes with beets, um, carrots, kale, um, cucumbers, apples. Um, and each one specifically have different benefits. Um, but the reality of it is, is just being able to get what those natural fruits and vitamins do for your body. So again, you can mellow it or single it down to a particular juice for different benefits. Um, that's like, again, ABC Boost is, is great for your blood pressure and inflammation. Mm. So again, if, if you're a person that deals with, let's say, sciatic nerve pain, um, you're on your feet all day long, the ABC Boost would be perfect for that. Okay. Um, so typically um, for us, we like to engineer it towards our clients or our customers to find the healthy way to cure these ailments that they have. So what are, the, what are some of the most popular ones? Uh, the Pineapple Paradise, um, the ABC Boost, as I said, yeah. um, are typically our best sellers. Our, our healthier ones um, are, that really come from our, our, our purists um, are really the people who drink the teas um, because the herbal teas necessarily gives you a different level into your fasting because the, the juices and the juice cleanses um, give you so many vitamins and nutrients for your body. Um, it's like um, me, I'm not as tough, but Dr. Sebi's three-day cleanse is a lot different because he's brutal. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> and his only suggests water and teas, um, uh, only a green tea, only a herbal tea, um, and you're supposed to just survive off of that. Again, like I say, um, the whole point of the fasting is to be able to deny as much of, of anything for your body as yeah. possible. I, I think that's dope. Yes, sir. I, I think that's super dope. And um, I remember I called one day being inside of, of Fresh Life, and I'm like, yo, this dude's really, like, really into it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's super amazing, especially with the juice cleanse. But there's a smoothie cleanse too, right? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's, because Taria never told me about this, okay, this smoothie um, cleanse. So, so um, typically, it's, it's the same thing. Um, as the juice cleanse um, in the same um, belief system of just putting proper nutrients and vitamins into your system. Um, so again, like I said, for me going through my journey, what I broke it down to was two smoothies and again, a salad a day. Um, if that's just the way you eat, again, it allows you to be able to get, as the dietitian said, your 11 small meals in a day mm -hmm. because essentially the point is just to put good vitamins into your body and allow those vitamins to do what God naturally meant to, for them to do. So let me ask you this question. Yes, so sir. I know the three-day cleanse, it was like the first day it was cool because it mm -hmm. was like 4 o'clock when I showed up, right? right? So it was fine. Sunday was rough because mm -hmm. Sunday is family day. Yes, so sir. it's like I'm always at home. Mm -hmm. But Monday was a breeze because that's when I'm like, I'm on to go. I'm yes, back sir. in grind mode. Mm -hmm. So for me, coming out of that three-day cleanse, I said, dude, I need to start drinking my water. Mm -hmm. Like I was already pescatarian. So mm -hmm. it's like I need to do more. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, that's it. So it, it just amplified my purpose of Why I being should. healthy yes, and, and staying healthy. So what are some of the other positive effects coming off? Let's start with a three-day, because a seven-day got to be brutal. No, yes, sir. Uh, Let's again, start with a three-day. Um, even once you take the time to read Dr. Sebi's books, um, what he tell you is you have to be prepared mentally and physically for it because... It's a transition because it completely changes the way you deal with it and how you look at food. Um, so hopefully what I believe people get up coming out of it is A, that you can survive without necessarily eating a meal. 
Mm -hmm. um, you don't need steak and potatoes to feel like you ate something. Especially two, three times a day. Uh, yes, sir. Um, and, and, and it typically shows you how you can not only feel healthier, you feel the energy boost. You, you feel the benefits of putting proper nutrients and vitamins. And again, with us as a people, it becomes extremely difficult to stop the, uh, ooh, what's for dinners? Because again, yeah. um, you're eating just because. Uh, yes, sir. Because again, when you go through and you take your time and you spend your entire day thinking about what you were going to eat for dinner, when dinner comes and all you got is the juice, it's kind of devastating. It's kind of mind blowing. It's kind of hurtful. It's kind of well, I at least want it. But again, in that you you'll see the mental strength. You'll mm. see that I can get through this. You, you'll see yourself being able to deal with something you don't think you could have. Um, it's like um, the show Naked and Afraid, when you realize you can go 21 days without eating. They trip. Uh, yes, um, but in reality of stripping yourself down to the bare necessities, us as a people, sometimes we realize we need so much. We need so much fashion, so much money, so much. When you realize you really don't. No. Um, you don't necessarily, and you can survive on what you thought you could. That's something I love about us as a people that we're so used to not having, when we get, we can benefit. Sometimes we yeah. overindulge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and reality, it, it, it's a nice reset to realize, no, I, I can only have a solid. No, I can only take the new. Matter of fact, I don't necessarily need to do it. And once you go through a cleanse and say, no, I'm eating meat, I felt sluggish. I felt more tired. I felt more angry. Um, like I tell people all the time, sometimes you can't have a diet of death and expect life. That's crazy. That is and you know what? A lot of the stuff that you said, that, that mental part is is entrepreneurship, like in the beginning. And but before we even get there, where can we find you? Um, you can find find me on Instagram at Fresh Life Two One Six. How, how do you, Life F um, L Y F E, right? Uh, yes, sir. L, yeah, because people go F. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. We're a little different, you know. So Absolutely. Yes, sir. So, you said um, Fresh Life Two One Six. Fresh Life. L-Y-F-E-216 okay. on Instagram. Um, you can find us at Fresh Life on Facebook. Um, you can also find us on our website. Yeah, you can Google FreshLife216.com, um, and we should also pull up on there. Absolutely. And I'm sorry, what was the address again? Um, FreshLife216.com. No, the, the physical address. Oh, 17203 Broadway Ave, Maple Heights, Ohio, right off the auto mall. Right off the auto mall. Yeah, yes, sir. Wonderful. Okay, cool, man. So, so final tip. Final tip for an entrepreneur or for anyone that that's getting into the business and you know the 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 iceberg method right uh, yeah, where sir. everybody's successful they see yeah, it sir. but they don't see the struggles but from a from a health perspective what what are some tips you want to give to people and to prepare for those dog days um the best i could give advice i could give is fail often and fail for mm. Pri prioritize yourself because the same way lebron takes care of his body you have to take care of yourself um, when it boils down to it, you have to prepare yourself for the long nights, the early mornings, the stressors of failures. Um, again, someone once told me it's like management. You got to spend the rest of your life putting out fires. And in reality, to constantly deal with those stressors, you have to find your time for your happiness, your private points. And that's why when it boils down to it, you have to do what you love. Because, again, if you love what you do, yeah, you don't work a day in your life. I think that is so dope. That, that certainly is. And Grandpa, Mr. Hill, is like my guy. So yes, sir. I, I'll, I'll love that. And I'll end it here. And I'll end it here with, um, one, we all can agree that our greatest health is our wealth. Yes, sir. And I'm sorry, our greatest wealth is, is our, our health. health. Yes, sir. And also, I'll end it with, Eating more healthy, being more conscious about the food that you put into your body is going to make you more productive. Yes, sir. Makes you more productive, meaning you can get up a little earlier, you yes, can turn sir. in a little later. Yes, sir. Meaning working those 24 hours. Because <laughs> we all got the 20, same 24 hours in some aspects. Not in all, no, uh, yes, but sir. in some aspects we do. So what we choose to do with our 24 hours is totally up to us. Yes, sir. And eating healthy contribute to that positively. Yeah, yes, sir. Appreciate yes, sir. you, man. Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you very much. No problem, man. Yes, sir. I was so afraid.